Hello everyone, BBD here. I'm joined again by... Chris Van Meter. Christopher Van Meter. Uh, we are here for another Versus video. Uh, this time I am piloting a deck that I believe has two different ne deck names. One of them is Feces Golgari. Uh, the other one is... Uh, uh, which, which way to the sluice way? Just taking a trip down uh, Golgari Lane. But, oh, um, man. Yeah, we got, uh, we got some sweet old... Some sweet old Golgari thugs in this deck that I'm gonna, I'm, I'm delighted to tell you about. So, uh, start out with we have Commune with the Gods, Grizzly Salvage, and Seder Wayfinder. Uh, these are our engine cards to fill our graveyard with some of the ugliest creatures in Ravnica's history. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this either, deck isn't winning a beauty contest, that's is, for it sure. It is not even close to winning a beauty contest, but uh, yeah, we are, we are gonna be fill <laughs> filling our graveyard with some, some very ugly folks. Uh, that really fuels a lot of the strategies in, this, in the deck. So, for one, we have Deathrite Shaman. Um, because of Commune and Grizzly Salvage, he can serve as a mana accelerant, uh, but he's also just a solid threat on his own sometimes against a lot of decks. Um, <coughs> we have Elvish, Elvish Mystic and Sylvan uh, carry added to provide uh, some mana to kind of ramp us into some of our bigger cards, but they also, again, uh, are useful in the graveyard for some of our other cards. And as for the cards that are useful in our graveyard, we have Nemesis Immortals, who uh, is cheaper to cast the more guys you have in your yard. So something like turn one Elvish Mystic, turn two Grizzly Salvage, you, you might even be able to turn three a Nemesis Immortals, uh, depending on what you hit. Because this deck is basically all creatures. Yeah, there's so only 20 lands. Only 20 lands and only eight non-creature spells, so um, uh, over half the deck's creatures. So. Mono dudes. Yeah, it's a, just a straight dude parade over here. So. A dude parade. <laughs> I don't know if that's a real term, but we just... <laughs> it is now. We just coined it, so... We should just call the deck Dude Parade. <laughs> Dude Parade, yeah. Um, <laughs> and that's, that's good. I like that. Uh, we have Shadowborn Demon. Uh, Shadowborn Demon is just an awesome piece of removal. And when we fill our graveyard up with guys, he doesn't have a drawback. So he's a 5-6 flyer that kills a guy. And he's a dude, so we can find it with Commune and Grizzly Salvage. He can, yes. Uh, Night Howler. Night Howler and Herald of Torment are two of the premier cards in this deck. These are pretty much the reasons to play this deck. Um, so Herald of Torment is going to take these massive Nemesis Immortals, or a lot less Trolls, or Jerads that are just huge because of the, our graveyard. Basically just going to throw them in the air like you just don't care, and probably one-shot your opponent or hit them for a significant chunk uh, with just one hit from Herald of Torment. Um, so Herald's really awesome. And then we have Night Howler. Uh, kind of does the same thing, only without the flying part. But uh, Night Howler provides even a bigger buff than Herald of Torment. Um, I actually had a chance to play against this deck in an IQ last weekend, and my opponent had a 13-13 like, Seder Wayfinder with a Night Howler on it. Yeah, there was just like many turns where just dead to Herald of Torment, and he never drew it. Yeah, I was just dead to Herald of Torment frequently. And now, I really like Seder Wayfinder, um, yep. and it's like the card that was recently printed that actually makes, th makes this deck like a possible deck. So we're very synergistic with our graveyard, Commune and Grizzly Salvage are, are both very good, but having Satter Wayfinder just changes the, c the complete dynamic of the deck. Like it allows us to fill our graveyard, but also gives us something to do with these Night Howlers and Herald of Torment, which are just both, both very, very powerful. So we're getting the value from Wayfinder, filling the graveyard, grabbing a land, but now we actually have a body that we can put Night Howler on and it just will give our opponents fits. Yeah. Uh, Seder Wayfinder lets us play 20 land. It is a guy in the yard for, um, like, Nemesis Immortals, Night Howler, etc., Jared, and it's also, like, good to put those creatures on. He just kind of does everything. So, yeah, he's a very integral part of the deck. Yep. Um, and then we also have, uh, we have Lala Troll and Jarad, uh, Jared, or however you want to say his name. And Lotleth Troll is pretty integral part of this deck as well, in my opinion, because he really lets you like uh, do broken things when you don't have like the best hands. Like if you don't have a Commune with the Gods or a Grizzly Salvage, you can still fuel your graveyard with Lotleth Troll. Um, he lets you like pitch all those extra guys you don't care about um, to make Jared bigger, or um, sometimes you just kill them with him by himself because he's just a massive regenerator, mm -hmm. or uh, you know. Putting a Night Howler on a Lot Troll is huge, like very difficult for your opponent to deal with. That trample. Yeah, it's, it, you kind of get to double dip. Um, Lot Troll lets you double dip with like a Night Howlers and Jareds, where like by pitching creatures, you're not only pumping the troll, but you're also pumping your other guys too. Um, so he's, he's kind of almost like a, uh, a Phalanx leader sometimes. Um, so 
A lot of the trolls really good, and then and then there's Gerard. Uh, he he's just exceptional for pushing through like stalled board states. Um, you know, your opponent has an Elspeth that's going, and you cast Gerard and throw your you know. 15, 15 Nemesis Immortals at their face, you know, with a Night Howler on it or whatever. And then you get to keep the Night Howler and throw it at them again. Yeah, and the next turn you get to just throw it right back at their face. So, uh, yeah, there's pretty just sweet actually. There's a lot of uh, Jared just provides the deck with reach and is also a huge body on his own. So yeah, I think there's a lot of awesome synergies here. Um, I'm pretty excited to play this deck, and uh, yeah, I, I just want to say I think I definitely just think this deck is just solid gold. So, so. solid gold. I love gold. All right, we are back with the sideboard of this uh, sweet old uh, feces Golgari deck. Uh, we have three Dude's on parade. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dude parade. We have uh, <laughs> three Golgari charms. Um, <laughs> Golgari charm is really good right now. Like it, it's uh, very good against the control decks. Blows up D sphere and saves your guys from Supreme Verdict. Um, but it's also good against Mono Blue because Master of Waves is a huge issue yeah. for decks like this. Um, so Golgari Charm really lets you, you know, sweep through a Master of Waves, which kind of lets the rest of your team do its thing. Uh, can also destroy a Bident or Detention Sphere or whatever as well out of those yeah. decks. Uh, Whip of Erebos, I think, is, is probably pretty good in this deck. Um, it's just another source of card advantage. Um, and I really like it against like the control decks where the lifelink doesn't matter, but just being able to reuse creatures over and over again, you can you can kind of grind them out. Um, so I, I do like whip in the sideboard here, and um, it also seems good in some of the more grindier matchups, like maybe like the mono black type decks too. Uh, just lifelink, so you're not just like dying to a gray merchant or a desecration demon, but then also the resiliency against all the removal spells. Yeah. Also being able to rebuy. Um, cards like uh, Shadow, Shadowborn Demon uh, is pretty good, too, in those grindy matchups. It is, yeah, it's very good. Um, speaking of the Demon, we have two more. So there are a lot of matchups where we want the full set of Demons, where they're going to kill, like, Green-Red Monsters is a great example of a deck where we want four Shadowborn Demons. They kill everything in the deck. They block Storm Breath Dragon. Um, <coughs> we just want as many of those guys as we possibly can have. Yeah. Uh, especially because they have Scavenging Ooze, too, which can be a huge problem, so... But, and I'm actually happy to see the card seeing some play now. Uh, it was a card that I had high hopes for. I know you and I were both pretty high on the Junk Reanimator train. Uh, you know, having dreams of blinking the sky of the Restoration Angel was always awesome. Uh, but the card just didn't really pan out in that format with the way that it changed. Uh, and it just there really hasn't been a home for it yet in this current standard. But as we're seeing here towards the end, um, you know, this might be the deck for Shadowborn Demon. Yep, yeah, it's finally starting to see some play. Like, we, di we, we did play it some, but um, it never caught on yeah. hugely. Uh, Thoughtseize, just an all-around good card. I mean, it just the best. Yeah, card. Don't, don't, don't really need to say anything more about that. Uh, same with Miss Cutter and and Lifebane Zombie. Like these are pretty self-explanatory cards for a deck like this to have on the board. Um, so yeah, I, I I think this deck's pretty cool. Um, I'm really interested to see how it plays out. I think I think it's actually pretty good. Yeah, I'm, I I really think that Herald of Torment's probably the most underrated card in Standard right now, um, and I really want to find a deck for it. And I think that. Uh, Saturday Wayfinder is uh, the man for the job. The dude. The dude for the yeah, job. Yeah, the dude for the job. Yep. He's going <laughs> to parade around with his heralds. Yep. Cut. 